One, two, three. Can anybody hear? Hello, good evening. Okay, so, so I think that the setting was not good because uh, I was speaking and nobody could hear me. Yeah, we. I, I heard something like a fan close to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so excellent. So Ruth is already sharing her assignment, her homework through the chat. And uh, we're going to see that in a moment. First of all, I want to start by doing something that will help us to get to know each other a little bit more. Okay, so uh, the first question is, uh, think about if you had the chance to define yourself with three adjectives, with three adjectives, which ones would they be? If you had to define yourself with three adjectives, which ones would they be? Think about it, okay? Think about it. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. So uh, that is a question, okay? Think about three adjectives that you think could describe you, okay? Uh, they don't have to be 100% positive. Maybe you, you can say one negative and, or that is not so positive. For example, you can say uh, impatient. And it's like, eh, yeah, I'm a little impatient. That's one adjective that describes me, okay? As an example. So three adjectives, three adjectives that you consider that describe you. I think so, that what? It's uh -huh. noisy. I'm noisy. Noisy. Yeah. I'm too noisy. Okay. I'm too impatient too. And I'm too happy. I don't know. I'm always okay. trying to be happy. <laughs> okay, very happy. So uh saying that you're too happy when you say too is it it um it means that it's a problem, it's something negative when you say I am too happy. Um, so in that case, you can say I'm very happy, right? Uh, or extremely happy. That would be possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Um, I, 
I think I'm I'm happy. Only happy. <laughs> Only happy. Okay, that's better. Yeah. So I am going to send you to the breakout room so you have more, um, let's say, privacy, right, to share the three adjectives that you consider describe you. Okay. If you want to say why or give an example of why you think that you are like that, it's fine. Okay. But this is just an activity to get to know each other a little bit more. Uh, oh, Brenda, I'm so sorry. The connection is still bad. Teacher, I'm going to dinner and I, I, I can participate, but I'm here. Okay. <laughs> well, you already mentioned yours. So that's, that's good. Okay, I'm going to create the three breakout rooms. Uh, Floor and Rolando, you're going to be in the same breakout room. Uh, Mariela, Brenda, and Janari, Laura, Jackie, and Ruth, Diana, Karen, and Miguel. So I am going to give you, uh, let's say four minutes maximum so you can share with your classmates. What are three adjectives that describe you? Okay. So welcome back, Miguel. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so here we go. Three to four minutes, okay, to share the three adjectives that you consider describe you. It can be two positive and one not so positive or the three positive uh, or one that is funny and two that are more serious, whatever you want, okay? So that people have an idea about your personality because we see each other, right, every day, but we don't know that much, okay, about um, personality, right? Each other's personality. So that's the purpose of the activity right now. So ready, set, and go. Go to the breakout room. I'm going to send Freddy's to the number two. Okay, so the invitation, please. Shy. I'm shy. Yes, um, I'm friendly. <laughs> I'm friendly and um, friendly, shy, uh, positive. Those are positive. Okay. And uh, for me, well, I think that friendly is the. Okay, sorry. No, I'm sorry, my baby. <laughs> it's told me. Ah, okay. <laughs> I consider that. Okay. Yourself. Describe yourself. Three adjectives. Describe myself. Yes. yes. Three adjectives. Three adjectives. Hmm. Maybe I am friendly, I'm introverted, introvert. Introverted, uh huh. Um, I'm polite. <laughs> okay, in my case, yeah, I'm friendly. And let's see, I'm an energetic person. Mm. And I'm a patience person too. What else? Let's see. Mm. I'm bad at describing myself. <laughs> Yeah, it's not something that you're accustomed to do. Yeah. That's what I did it. That's what I want you to do that. Sometimes I'm a silly person. <laughs> I don't know what else. 
that's good to say about myself. What about you, Anna? What else you can tell me about yourself, about your person? Um, I, some people say I am friendly and other people say I am very angry. <laughs> That, those are two diff very opposite. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. You should remind me uh, where I work at. <laughs> uh huh. The people in the community say that I'm a, I'm a serious person. It actually, my job makes me to be serious with them. Mm, that's why. Yeah. So they say I'm serious. Well, with my friends, with my family, it's way different. Okay. Now let's ask the teacher. <laughs> How do you describe yourself? That's a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's hard to describe yourself. <laughs> Um, I think that the one thing that would characterize me uh, is that probably I am very uh, analytical, I would say. Um, that would be one. The other one uh, maybe would be that I, I consider myself uh, an empathetic or generous person. And um, one more. Let me check. I will say that something negative, maybe. Mm, what is it? <laughs> something negative about me. Probably that I. It's hard for me to forget things that people do. Okay. In my uh, case, a, li a little bit resentful, I would say. A little bit resentful. In my case, I'm sure of memory. <laughs> yeah, sure of memory. Okay. Okay, so what happened, Karen and Miguel? You look so happy. Tell us, share with us. <laughs> I want to be part of that. Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, I, I, I just uh, talking about the, my objectives and I, I tell you, um, I tell her, um, my objective is hard working. Hard working. For, okay. for this is the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, for example, when, for, for example, when when do you you need to use or need to uh, fix this, anything in your home, you can you can use uh, any tools. For example, how do you say pulidora in English? You got me there. I, I, I'm I not that good at <laughs> machines in English. Okay. Yeah. So for example, the taladro. The taladro, taladro. too. Mm -hmm. And Miguel and me are very handy. <laughs> ah, okay. This is the our conversation. Excellent. <laughs> so let me check. Thank you. Taladro is little. Yeah, that would be a drill. Yeah, uh, drill. Oh, okay. I was thinking about the pulidora. Let me look it up. Uh huh. So that's what you were uh, laughing about. Uh, well, it's something that I imagine could be an. Uh, it's a polisher. Uh huh. Polisher. Yeah. So that's the purpose of the machine. Polisher. Okay. okay. Yeah, polisher. Um, so. Juan Jose and Maritza, welcome. Francisco as well. It's good, good to see you and to have good you evening. here. Good evening, guys. 
So we're going Thank to- Thank you, Tisha. Hi, we're going to start with the attendance, okay? Um, I didn't, well, I don't know what happened with uh, Beatriz. Mm, I haven't contacted her to ask her about the daughter. Uh, Elizabeth is not here. So we continue with Mariela. I'm here. Okay, good to see you, Mariela. Let's continue with the next one is Brenda. Brenda is having some connection problems, but she's trying to stay in class. Okay, so uh, blame it on Claro. So we continue with Diana. Present. Yeah. Okay. Why so serious, Diana? Um, a little, I feel a little bit sick. sick. Oh. But it's Sorry okay. about that. I can be in the class. Okay, okay. Thank you for uh, sacrificing a little bit. Uh, have you taken any medicine? Well, it's not possible to take medicine for you. Yeah. Uh, That's why. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, now I understand a little bit more. Uh, well, hope you feel better, uh, Floor. Thank you. I'm here. <laughs> Flora is serious too. Uh -huh. I'm not sick. <laughs> okay. Let's continue with Francisco. Uh, presentation. Excellent. Uh, Laura. Present teacher. Harvin. Harvin's not here yet. Uh, hopefully he will join us soon. Uh, Jennifer is not here. That's also strange. I'm here, teacher. Oh, she... <laughs> uh -huh. so you were very quiet. I just connect to the class. Ah, that's why. Yeah. Does your camera work, Jennifer? Yes. Okay. We would like to see you. Right, guys? You would like to see Jennifer, right? Yeah! Yeah, I don't know her. Yeah. You oh, see? my God. <laughs> Jennifer, how is that possible mean, that, that one of your classmates doesn't know you? Yeah. I know everyone. But, they, but uh, somebody but... doesn't know you. Jenny, yeah. Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> Because I just was taking dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. So when you finish, you're going to turn it on, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. We're gonna wait for you. Good. Uh Juan, Juan Jose. <laughs> I am here. This is called peer pressure. Peer pressure. Okay. La presión de grupo, right? <laughs> the compañero, peer pressure. Or group pressure, pressure right? Uh, let's continue with Karen. Present. Miss Smiling. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Okay, you made it on time. I see, yes. Yes, you had a lot of, a, a lot of work today. Yes. Okay. It's good to have you here. Uh, Miguel Angel? I'm here, teacher. You are MacGyver, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, a little, a little. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <MacGyver. laughs> yeah, we, we know him just like MacGyver, right? Uh, that's correct. <laughs> But in English, it's MacGyver. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue with Rolando. Hello, I'm here. Okay, Rolando, where is the energy? It's here. It's here. <laughs> so I think that if we need energy, you can give us, right? All that you want. Okay, perfect. Okay. Then we have Ruth, uh, who's working, but she's 
trying to be in the class. Uh, Suleyma, I suppose that she's still a little bit sick. Yanari? I'm here. Okay, Yanari, thank you. Uh, Jackie? I'm here, teacher. Okay, would you like to see Jackie and Yanari? Yes. Yes. I have problem with my internet. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, I, I know, I know, Yanari. But we see Yaki now. Later, you're going to send us a picture through WhatsApp. <laughs> so we see everybody there. Okay. <laughs> selfie. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, let's continue with Blanca. I'm here. And Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. Okay, excellent. Is that a studio, Freddy's? Yeah. Okay, DJ Freddy's. Now we're going to uh, go on uh, quickly. Yesterday we had an interesting class. We did different activities. Uh, which ones do you remember? Which ones do you like? Anybody? Maybe. We had a, a review. Yes. What else? Hello. We learned some, voc some vocabulary. Vocabulary about what? Surveillance. <laughs> surveillance okay yeah that was a that was a word that was giving us some some problems surveillance that's right uh, and we discussed a little bit about that right so about surveillance if it is good at work or it's not a good idea so today you're going to share that opinion uh today also we are going to well i'm going to give you some indications because as we are finishing the the the, the curse right the, the intermediate level one uh, there is a survey that you are going to complete. I don't know if you already received uh, information about that. Me? Yes. yes, yes. Okay, so I have to yes. clarify some things about that. First of all, you don't have to complete it yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh, because we will do it together. We'll do it together. The last day of the curse that is on monday so on monday okay. every we are going to do it together so i will explain you step by step how to fill it up okay and you're going to answer okay. obviously with your personal opinion so uh right now don't fill up any information don't fill up any survey um we're i'm going to give you more explanations on monday uh, you will receive a teacher's evaluation as well, but that one you can complete it, right? You can complete it. So um, with no problem. Uh, remember that the evaluation is, in, in the case of the teacher, it's just about the teacher. It's not about you. It's not about English Corporativo. It's not about Insaforb. No, it's not about your company. <laughs> So it's only about me, right? So um, that one, yes, you can fill it up when you receive it, but the survey uh, for about the curse, you have to wait uh, until Monday, okay? So um, let me share with you the screen, okay? So you remember a little bit about what we did yesterday. And um, I can show you what we're going to do next. I hear a little noise. If you see that I'm in a different position today is because I moved. I'm a little uncomfortable, but, <laughs> but I had to because I, I was uh, doing some arrangements in my, in my room. So it was not possible to stay in the same place. But anyways, here we go. Uh, can you see the slide with some vocabulary? Yes. yes. 
Okay, perfect. So, how do you pronounce the word number one, Jackie? Surveillance. Karen? Surveillance. Surveillance, okay, yes. Uh, what is the definition for surveillance, uh, Freddy's? Surveillance. Surveillance. Uh, uh -huh. uh, watching someone closely to detect a crime. Okay, very good. What is the pronunciation for the word number two? Um, Rolando? Reassure. Reassure or reassure? Um, I guess reassure. The correct pronunciation sure. is reassure. Reassure. Okay. Reassure. Re reassure. Okay. That's correct. What is the definition for reassure, Flor? Assure. Reassure. Is to remove someone's doubts and fears. Aha, uh -huh, very good. There is a there is a song that says reassure you, but I don't remember the name of the song. Okay, yeah, so reassure is the act of removing someone's doubts and fears. Okay, what is the pronunciation of the word number three, Maritza? Behavior. Behavior, yes, that's the correct pronunciation, behavior. Okay, somebody's yeah. watching uh, Betty, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think most people know about that. So we're going to continue with, uh, <laughs> you see that, that that person did it just to make us smile, right? To make us laugh. Uh, what is the meaning or definition for behavior, uh, Francisco? Behavior. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yep. Teacher? Yes. Yes. We can, yes. Hear, you. We can hear you. Teacher? Yes. Okay. Uh, behavior. Uh, it's like to my, as you say, my manera de ser, for example. The way of being, my way, way of, of being, being. Uh -huh. my way of being. Mm -hmm. So it's the way someone acts, right? That's a behavior. Excellent. Thank you so much. Jennifer, what is the pronunciation of the word number four? Theft. Theft. Okay, theft. Very good. What is the definition for theft? Um, Diana? Uh, sorry? What is the definition of theft? Number four. Is <coughs> the action of crime or stealing? Of stealing. That's correct. Well, it's not, it's not correct that people do it, but that's a great thing. <laughs> okay. So uh, we continue with the word number five. Uh, I'm going to ask Laura, what is the pronunciation of the word number five? Wage. Wage, yeah, that's correct. What is the definition of wage, Janari? Uh, oh, okay. Janari or Blanca? Yeah. Um, the definition of? Wage. 
wage. Okay, let me remember. Uh, the amount of money paid to an employee. That's right, yes, it is like that. Wage is a synonym of salary, right? And then we have tip, that's an easy one, right? The tip is what, Mariela? What is a tip? Or the action of tipping? Is to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Yes, right. Okay. When you when you go to a restaurant, you give a tip. If you go to a, I don't know, to a car wash or to any other place, and you receive a good service, you can give a tip, right, to the person. Okay. Uh, the next teacher, one is. Excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh. And when you say, I tell me a tip for how to make this. That's another definition. That's another word. That's like advice in that case, or but advice. It's the, or, but it's the same word. The same word, but a different meaning. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, it was, the, the, the meaning is depend the situation. Yeah, the context will tell you that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And then uh, it's raining a lot in Jackie's place. Well, I hope it rains in San Miguel because it's like 31 right now. <laughs> so uh, let's see. That would be the tip. And the last one is spooky. What is the definition for spooky? Uh, anybody who wants to volunteer? Juan Jose? Something that causes fear or nervousness. Yes, that's right. Something that causes fear or nervousness, right? Spooky. So uh, those are some of the words that we practice. And well, that was the class. Uh, let me check. Somebody's writing in the chat. It's raining cats and dogs there too. Oh my goodness, Jennifer. I'm sorry. I think that's an excuse for not turning on the camera. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So uh, please let us know if, if you have connection problems because of the rain. Uh, so we talk about the personnel training vocabulary. We talk about the age, youth and old age. Uh, that was a little discussion that we had, right, about the different questions related to that. Uh, just today, somebody was asking me, do you think there is a there is a specific age for getting married? And I was like, mm, that's a difficult question because <laughs> uh, I see people getting married when they are 20 or 21 or less. Uh, and other people who are in their late 20s or early 30s and they're not even thinking about that possibility. So it's kind of complicated, right? And yesterday we talked about the energy and retirement, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a never ending conversation. So that's something that we did. We had the trivia where everybody had one specific question, okay, to answer. And the majority of you did it really well. Uh, obviously the, the questions were, some of them were more difficult than others. And uh, the assignment for you was to write down a 10 line paragraph to say whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace, okay? Uh, if you ask me about that, I would say that I agree, but it depends. It depends on where you set up the cameras and what kind of job you do. Because in my case, I'm a teacher. And when there is a camera in the classroom, students feel intimidated. So it's not the same. Uh, so in my, in my area, it's a little bit more difficult. But if they set up cameras in, um, in the office, in the teacher's office, I don't think it's a problem. Um, so, but I have experience and it was not so good. Um, so that's what you were going to do, right? Uh, mention so 
three reasons, at least three reasons to support your opinion and uh, one paragraph, right? Uh, with 10 lines approximately. Okay, so today we're going to share that. But before we share that, we are going to, uh, I'm going to finish by sharing with you that we discussed two questions and we practice the conversation, okay? The conversation between uh, Alex and Rick. So uh, there were some people who were not able to be in the class yesterday uh, for different reasons, okay? Uh, but if you want to hear or if you want to practice this conversation, you can raise your hand or we can have some volunteers to do it, okay? So you have an idea about how it is pronounced, how the words are pronounced. Very good, so we have Diana. And Juan Jose, perfect. So Diana, uh, you are going to be Rick and Juan Jose, you're going to be Alex. Ready? Yes. Set and go. Okay. In this workshop, I hired a month ago once to know to how, uh, to how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for the next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yeah, I think server need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, excellent. It sounded like a like a like a recording, right? From the from a CD of, of a book. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. I, I'm going to use a reaction. Where is the reaction? Here they are. Okay, so let's move on that was a conversation you can practice remember that reading aloud is always something good uh, Juan Jose be careful with the microphone please okay excellent uh, I think it automatically goes on Juan Jose Hi. Uh, I think there is a problem with the microphone uh, because I tried to mute it and automatically goes on again. Uh, I, I, don't I don't know. Maybe you can help me out with that because it sounds like it's raining there. In, in the moment it's raining, but I don't know uh, the, the problem. Okay, okay. Just try to check, right? That the microphone doesn't go on uh by itself because it happens sometimes okay thank you so much and uh because of time we're going to move on the class 22 is waiting for you and for today's class we're going to first of all discuss but not these questions this will be later we're going to discuss something special okay something special and that is the date that we are celebrating because of the day that we are celebrating today. And yes, uh, Blanca, you mentioned that in the chat. I thought about that too. Okay, that is the international or the world, I think, uh, dogs day. So for all those who have dogs or had dogs in the past and people who don't have dogs, but you love them. So it's a good reason to celebrate, right? And well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about animals and pets. Um, so I think that uh, there are many questions to discuss about this, but I'm going to ask you just one question, okay? And you can write, you can just give your answer without explanation. If you could be an animal, any animal in the world, if you could be an, any animal in the world, which one would you choose? Don't tell me why, just say it, okay? 
and, or write it in the chat. So Diana, you raise your hand. Dog. A dog. dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. Freddy's. Which animal would you choose? Blanca said a tiger. An eagle. An eagle, Jackie. Me too. I would like to be an eagle. Um, let's see. Okay. What? A lion. A lion. Okay, Miguel would like to be a lion. Very good. Freddy's, sorry I didn't hear you. A puma. A puma. That would be a cougar. A cougar. A cougar. Okay, got it. Then we have a uh, floor. An uh, elephant. An elephant. Okay, <laughs> to have a big memory. Then we have Harbin who said a uh, tiger, Jennifer, a dolphin. Uh, Mariela? Juan Jose? Maybe a cat. A cat, okay. I would like to, um, an, an eagle, two. <laughs> an eagle, okay. Excellent. Uh, let's check who's missing. Laura? Miguel says a lion. <laughs> the lion king. And a rabbit? A rabbit. Okay. Cute. Uh, <laughs> Karen? I don't know. I'm trying to think in something, but I don't want to be a, an animal. <laughs> well, but if you could, right? so it's just an imaginary situation, right? So Maritza? A what? A cat. a cat. Okay, a cat. And then Rolando? Two dogs. A dog. Talk about the pet. No, just any animal, any animal in the world. Um, repeat the question because I lose you... my internet. Ah, okay. If you could be an animal, any animal, which one would you choose? Which one would you be? Ah, I would like to be a tiger. A tiger, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, tiger. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, Diana, you raise your hand. You want to say something or ask something? Oh, no, I forgot to lower the hand. Ah, okay, okay. Never mind. So, um... One, two, three, one, two. I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms. So we have everybody in the rooms. Five, four, four, four. Okay, so I'm going to move one person from here to the breakout room number four. Okay, so we have four breakout rooms right now, guys. Uh, Wait, I made a mistake. It's not this one, it's to the other one. One, two, three, four. Breakout room number three. Okay, perfect. So you're going to discuss the questions. I'm going to share the link through the chat so that you can open it. Wait a second. Where is it? Uh oh, I lost the link. Where is it? No way, Jose. Okay, I'm going to look for it. I think, but ah, no, I thought that I had lost it, but here it is. So here it is uh, for you. You can open it up. And here we go. You're going to have just four minutes. Okay. Uh, well, there are four or five people in this group, so I will be more time. I will give you five minutes then. Five minutes to discuss the questions that you like, right? Uh, so it's all about animals. We know that animals are cute, they're awesome, and life is better with animals, uh, depending on the animal also. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go to breakout rooms to practice a lot of English, and I will see you in five, maximum six minutes. Please accept the invitation. Now, 
One, two, three. Good. Okay, Karen, Brenda, uh, set the invitation. There you go. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it depends of. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Something specific, but it's not every day. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, uh, here we have Glenda, I think she's Glenda, right? Hello, Bye. yes. Okay, Glenda. Um, we can start to the practice. And... Okay, okay. Let me see, those are the questions. Me pierdo, es porque estoy viendo super fuerte. Yeah. It's raining in your home, Marixa? Yes. Okay. It's raining cats and dogs. Okay. <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs. Ah, okay. Do you have a pet? <laughs> yes, I have a pet. How old is it? When one, I have two dogs. One have uh, is uh, four years. Six. Plus five, eleven. Eleven animals. Yeah. Eleven pets in your house. A one dog. <laughs> a one dog, one parrot. And let's see, four belly ways and <laughs> five chickens. <laughs> wow, you have a big house, man. <laughs> You're a farm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My never, my never say that I'm a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eleven pets. Wow. It's a big number for me because I I don't like the pets, but for my daughter I have to have. So right now we have a dog. And I, <laughs> I don't like it, but she love she loves him. <clears throat> okay, in my case, uh, we have three, three pets, two dogs and one cat, female cat. Okay, let me see another question. Do you play with it? Um, you play? Sometimes, in my case, in my case sometimes, uh, when I arrive to, to my house, um receive me with Mary agree <laughs> the, the, the dogs okay. um the cat is very um I don't know how to say uh, the cat doesn't matter anything uh, <laughs> at course I don't know how to say at <laughs> why do you say teacher at I have no clue. I, I think that we need to think about, about a synonym in Spanish because Arisco is a, I think it's a Salvadoran word. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe like unfriendly. Yeah, that would be. Unfriendly, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Arisco is, is a word only El Salvador. <laughs> I think. <laughs> It's like chiquilin. Okay. I think it's only for, for us. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Or chicha, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but that ring is, is common in another country near from El Salvador. Near El Salvador, uh, maybe, but I'm not sure if they call it or they name it the same way. <laughs> 
don't I don't have I don't have pet uh, signs five years ago because um, is uh, it he was a dog but he um, uh, dead how do you say teacher Murio dead pass or away or died died, died. Oh, pass yes. away that's right hey Jennifer um, yes. good to see you <laughs> <laughs> thank you teacher <laughs> Yes, um, well, it, it's, I don't, I don't have pet. Yeah, it's that when you lost your pets. Yes, I lost. And even more when, when other people hurt, hurt the pets. Because in my case, uh, in my case, I had. Sassy and Miggy. Oh, my dog is called Sassy, too. Oh, uh, yeah, really? <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> yes, yeah. Sassy. L like to the, 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 girlfriend, the girlfriend to Dino. Dino. What kind of animal do you want to have? <laughs> Only animals. No, what kind of animal do you want to have that you already don't, don't have? I don't have. Mm. Guacamaya. Guacamaya? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, they're way too expensive. <laughs> yes. 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 I think it was expensive. Let's see. And about you, Harvey? Do you name your pets? Sorry? Do you name your pets? His name is Lucky. Lucky. How about you, Juan? Yes. Sorry, I can hear you. It's already too hard here. How about Juan? What's the name of your pets? Uh, um, the uh, Koda. Koda is the name of one of the dog. Uh, Koda, um, I don't remember the other. <laughs> I I never call uh, call them. Uh, and the cat, I don't remember too because the name of the cat uh, put in my my daughter and and um, okay. which is the name. <laughs> It, only the, the one of those. Uh, his, his name is um, Koda. Okay. My parrot's name is Niña. The dog's name is Juguete. One of the family is called Canelo. The other one is called Chirilo. The two girls, one is called Mocha. The other one is called Negra. <laughs> <laughs> Only the chickens that have names. <laughs> but don't eat your pet. <laughs> no. All right. So the time is up. We're going to continue with the next one. Um, so I I heard that in the breakout rooms, right, that you had different questions. So it was really nice uh, that you were sharing uh, your personal information or your personal experiences, right, related to animals. One of the most surprising ones was the well, in the group that I was in the last time was with Freddy's because he has eleven pets. <laughs> oh my I, god I don't know if you want to mention which ones they are ready yeah I have four pelliways five chickens one dog and one parrot he has a farm <laughs> yeah so, my neighbors call me cowboy <laughs> it's a cowboy what is the last pet that you mentioned Freddy? A parrot. 
parrot. Is it a parrot or a parakeet? A parakeet. Ah, okay, so it's a little one. The one we call chocoyos. Okay, okay, I, ha I have one of those. <laughs> Okay, guys, so, um, hi, sorry. I want to ask you something in your, in, in Oriente, how do you um, <laughs> In the Eastern region. Uh, how, how do you call geckos? Geckos? geckos. No, we call them uh -huh. geckos. Geckos with ge. Uh-huh, geckos. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I thought you you call them bebe leches. No. <laughs> no. Bebe leches. Okay. Bebe leches. The last teacher told us that. <laughs> yes, in the last course. Ah, okay. So <laughs> she's from Usulutan, and she told us that in Usulutan they call geckos. Okay. Well, probably they have, they have. You well, are not from Oriente, teacher. No, the thing is that it it varies. I mean, uh, if you go to some places in our union, probably they will call. They will say topoyos, like in Santa Ana, and in, mm -hmm. in the majority places they they call them uh, charamuscas, right? So. From place to place, there is a difference. Uh, even if it is in the same yeah. region, even if it is in the same region, it's like the pupusas. I mean, in Samuel, it's common that they offer the two uh, types of uh, cabbage, right, with uh, vinegar or with mayonnaise. But in La Union yeah, or Sultan or Morazan, it's not that common. So it depends, right? Uh, every department has its own. Uh, characteristics and it depends if you are from the let's say rural or urban area that also makes a difference yeah but but it's interesting okay uh when we talk about about animals because obviously everybody had experiences good and bad uh with pets but in the end i think that uh pets give something different something special to any house to any home uh, so we're going to move on and uh, well for the people who have dogs right or like dogs you can celebrate you can share your pictures later if you want that that would be nice and let me check that everybody's here quickly one, two, three. Okay, perfect. So we have Krishna here. We'll continue with Mariela. I'm here. Brenda. Diana. Floor. Here, sorry. Okay, no problem. Then we have uh, Francisco. Present teacher. Laura. <coughs> Arvin? Present teacher. Present teacher. Excellent. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Hey, there is Jennifer. Look, you can take a screenshot. She's Jennifer. Don't forget her face. <laughs> okay, we continue with the next one. Uh, Juan Jose? I'm here. Karen? Present. Maritza. I'm here. Miguel Angel. Rolando. I'm here, teacher. I'm here. Excellent. That's the attitude. Uh, Ruth, then we have Jessica Yanari. Jackie. Present, teacher. There you go, uh, Blanca. I'm here. Janari say that he she have problems with the internet in the chat group in, yeah. in WhatsApp. Yeah, she's struggling a lot with that. And Freddy's. 
So, um, let's... teacher. Hello. I'm here. Okay. Thank it, you. Teacher, I'm here. The internet Hello. comes and goes. It's a start raining here too. To be honest with you, I'm confused. I don't know if we're still in winter, if the winter is gone, if it's going to continue raining. This weather in our country is crazy right now. The winter is coming. All right, okay, no. Because <laughs> yeah, oh. it has it's my parent. <laughs> oh, wow. You, well, you, you know the reference, right? <laughs> what, what reference? The winter is coming, Game of Thrones. Uh, no. Oh my God. I and you judge, you judge. I am part <laughs> of the 1%. You just yesterday to, to Diana to not see friends and you don't even see Game well, of but, Thrones. But Friends is for 10 years, it's a classic one and I mean, I agree. I agree. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more complex. It's like uh, Betty La Fea, right? It's a classic one. Uh huh. So, yes, we're going to move on. <laughs> uh, I think that another day we're going to talk about TV shows or uh, things that we used to watch. Um, okay, Yanari, thank you. So, Something that we couldn't finish yesterday or we couldn't do yesterday was to discuss these questions. We have four questions. Question number one, uh, Juan Jose. Um, who is asking for a promotion? Number two. What did the customer complain about? Okay, continue. Uh, number three, what staff will receive training? And four. What step will Alex and Rick take for the training? Okay, thank you. So uh, we have those four questions. And um, in this case, we're talking about uh, the conversation, right? The conversation that we had. So I'm going to show it to you again, so you have an idea. And we can start answering the question. So, uh, the first question is, who is asking for a promotion? The dishwasher. Okay, the dishwasher, excellent. Question number two, what did the customers complain about? For waiting a lot, a long too long. Uh, yeah, too long, a long time, okay? That's correct. So that was the, the waiting time. That was what the customers were complaining about. Question number three, uh, what staff will receive training? Servers. 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 And what are the steps that Alex and Rick uh, plan to take? Identify their skills and knowledge, and then they can include everything they need in the training. Okay, there you go. So that's that's it, right? So excellent. Thank you so much. Simple as that, right? Piece of a piece of piece of cake. A piece of cake. Okay, so uh, the, how do you organize training for your staff? In this case, I know that you're not thinking too much about that, right? Probably it's not your area or your field. But if you had to organize the, the steps, okay? In this case, we have six steps. How would you organize them? You are going to discuss with your partners. I am going to send you to the same breakout rooms that you were in the previous conversation so you can express your ideas. Uh oh, it's going to rain. So before it rains, I'm going to say to the breakout rooms. So please discuss which, well, which would, what would be the order of these steps, right? Uh, in order to prepare a training for your staff. Uh, 
give your reasons, give your points of view, and agree on something. Ready, set, wait a second, this group is too big. I'm going to take out someone. Okay, here we go. Please join the breakout rooms. Teacher, I don't have invitation. Okay, I'm going to send it to you right now. Give me just a second. Okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. Uh, questions? What do you think about the order? I think the analyze the job is number one. Yes. I don't know. What do you think? The number one? Yes. Could be analysis the job. That's right. Uh, number two, what do you think? <clears throat> I put in my homework that it in five. The job. Yes. Analyze the job. Mm -hmm. Is the first one because you have to know what what you have to do. What you is have, about? You have to know. Uh, uh, the um yeah then the job yeah and agree because. Uh -huh. Uh, this is the star for select or identify the personnel. Personnel, current, current this, skills and knowledge. Personal current skills and knowledge. This is it number will two. Be number two. Number identify two. personnel, current skills and knowledge. Okay. Personnel. Personnel. Mm -hmm. Personnel. Is the number two. Um, uh, no, gaps. Teacher, what does mean gaps? No gaps. Gap, no uh, knowledge gaps is like uh, somebody doesn't know something, so there is a gap. Uh, something that is empty. Uh, uh, uh. So, for example, uh, you say that okay, so Floor is a is a travel agent. But imagine yeah. if she didn't speak English, that would be a gap, a knowledge gap, because for her position, it is necessary to know uh, uh, another language. So oh, she okay. doesn't know that about that. Or let's suppose that she know, she doesn't know about how to use the system, the computer yeah. system yeah. from the company. So it's yeah. a gap. So we need to oh, okay. explore to learn how to use the, the system. Okay. So, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Identify personal current skill knowledge. The number three, the size skills and knowledge. Gap. Knowledge. I'm agree. Okay. Three. I agree. Good. Implement training or identify training um, solution. Training solution. Identify training solution or implement training. What do you think? Training solution. I training solution. Okay. Identify number, training solution. Number four. Okay. No, three number, and four. Number five, implement training. And number six, evaluate performance after training. Performance. Yes. Oh, performance. 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 Perf Yes, we can we can practice for pronunciation. Uh huh. That's okay. a good idea. Yeah. Okay. First one, analyze the job. 
second, identify personal's current skill and knowledge. Besides the skills and knowledge. Knowledge. Mm, it's, no, no, it's, I don't know how to, how to. I, I think that I, this. I think a uh, knowledge gap may be como deficiencia de, de, de conocimiento o alguna, mm -hmm. algún, algo así. That's correct, right. yeah. Okay. So a gap is, is something empty, something that is missing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I believe this, this item is number six. Number three? I think that is a uh, number six because yeah, is the when you say ultimo uh, last last one last the last uh, I prefer uh, I think the six are evaluate three. performance yes evaluate yes. performance after mm -hmm. training uh -huh. mm -hmm. that makes sense implement training when the employee needs to uh, to select for for a natural specific you got 30 uh, seconds more identify solution five and this number six you are ready guys Or you have any comment? You can do any. Do you like do any shames? I think that implement training may be number five and number yeah, six. I, evaluate I perform after training because. Uh, Van a evaluar el personal posterior a que haya sido entrenado. Okay, so uh, I, I could notice, right, that you were basically done, okay? In the last group that I was, they were just writing down the last number to organize the steps, right? Or the procedure for a training, uh, organizing a training. So let's get to an agreement. Let's get to an agreement. Uh, which one do you consider is the number one? We had four breakout rooms. The breakout room number one was Diana, Francisco, Laura, and Maritza. Which one do you have as number one? Miguel, perdón, Francisco. Uh, number one, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay, so you say that is the identify personnel's current skills and knowledge. Okay, number one. Okay, a uh, group number two. In the group number two, we had uh, Mariela, Flor, Jackie, and Rolando. Do you agree with number one? Well, we think uh, the number one is anal analyze the job. Analyze the job. Okay, so we have we think it is the number one. Okay, and I suppose that identify personnel's current skills and knowledge is number two. In your opinion? Yes, in our opinion, is this is the number two. Okay. Okay. Group number three, we had. Uh, Brenda, Freddy's, Harbin, Juan Jose, and Ruth. What do you think is, well, do you agree with number one and number two, uh, according to the, your classmates? Because uh, they have different opinions. So I don't know if you have something No, it, 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 it is the same. 
the same, we agree. Which one do you think is number one? Number one, and uh, analyze, analyze the job. Number analyze two, job. identify personal current skills and knowledge. And number three, decide skills and knowledge. Yes. Wait, okay, so number three. Uh, so you said that is, this is number two. We're going to check, okay, with all the groups, don't worry. So this decide skills and knowledge gaps. Three, sorry. Three. Okay, let's go with a group number four. In the last group we had, uh, I think it was, yeah, Karen, Jennifer, Blanca, and Miguel. Number four is identify training solutions. Okay, identify or identify training solutions. This is number four, in your opinion. Okay, group number one. What do you think is number five? Which one do you think is number five? Implement uh, training. Implement training. And I assume that you agree that the last one is evaluate uh, performance after training. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yes. Please. Use a reaction, thumbs up or claps if you think that this is the correct order. Number one, analyze the job. Number two, identify personnel's covering skills and knowledge. Number three, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Number four, identify training solutions. Number five, implement training. And number six, evaluate performance after training. Okay, so Karen, use a reaction. Who else, who else? Floor. Okay, so floor, Karen. Uh, somebody's clapping here is Rolando and Miguel. Excellent. So we have around five people who say that it's okay. But let me confirm, okay? Let me confirm. So analyze the job. Wait a second, it's a little bit noisy. Okay, Blanca says that she agrees with that too. So number one, analyze the job. Number two, yeah, analyze the job is general, right? Analyze the job. Identify personnel's current skills and knowledge. That's more specific. Uh, when you identify those skills and knowledge, you realize that there are some skills and knowledge gaps. Like, let's suppose, uh, yeah, Freddie is good at speaking, but maybe, he has some problems with reading. So you identify that there are skills, but there are some gaps. So there are people who have to learn about something or improve specific areas. So that is number three. Number four, identify training solutions. You identify the problem, now identify the solution. Implement that solution and evaluate the performance of the employees after the solution or after the training in this case. So, correct. I'm going to use a tada because that's one of my favorite ones. Thank you so much. You did an amazing job in the breakout rooms. I was surprised because this was not so easy at the beginning, okay? So, you got it. You got it really well. Let me, you are like, like Selecta right now. You're doing everything great. Let's go on, let's go on. Um, so we're going to get started and the topic that we're going to be studying in the coming sessions, not too much today, but tomorrow, yes, is how to use Will, okay? Not Will Smith, no, not Will, uh, I don't know, Will I am? Now, how to use the verb will, okay, for the future. So that's what we're going to be studying uh, in the following sessions. And uh, well, we already had a discussion about animals and pets. First of all, to identify uh, the meaning of vocabulary, we're going to continue increasing your knowledge on vocabulary. So I recommend you to, probably in this moment, you don't have it but I recommend you to have a little notebook or an agenda 
where you write down the new words that you are learning. Because when you want to study or when you want to remember something, you can go to that notebook, right? When you discover a new word, you can copy that in that notebook. It's a little bit more com confusing or complicated when you have classes and vocabulary in the same paper or on the same notebook. So for that reason, I would recommend you for the future um, sessions, right? Or the future modules that you take to have a little place where you write down the new words that you learn in classes or after classes. So here we have six words, okay, six words. And uh, first of all, we're going to focus on pronunciation. So I need you to listen and repeat. Number one, goal, goal. 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 Oh, yeah, like when, <laughs> what we were, <laughs> What we, wanted to do, what we wanted to scream, right? When the selector was playing. Uh, oh. Oh. That's not possible. Uh, maybe next time with, with against Qatar, right? Number yeah. two, number two, feedback. 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 I like the word feedback. Feedback is really good. Feedback. Uh, feedback. It's important. Feedback is really yeah. important. Feedback is really important. Number three, budget, 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 budget. 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 very good, excellent. Number four, knowledge no. gap, knowledge, knowledge gap, knowledge gap, knowledge gap, knowledge gap, knowledge gap, knowledge gap. Yeah, so the pronunciation is knowledge. Right, no, 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 like no, yeah, no, knowledge, no, knowledge, no, knowledge, knowledge, gap. knowledge, gap. Coaching. knowledge, gap. knowledge, 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 five, a very popular word nowadays, right? Coaching, 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 Qualification. So, qualification. Let me check how much time we have. Yeah, we have. We, we still have enough time. So what we're going to do is try to match this, but this time you are going to be working in pairs, okay? So you will try to match this. And something that I like in the group number four, when they finished the, exer the previous exercise, they started to practice pronunciation. So they, they began reading aloud. So I want you to complete this exercise, but at the same time, I want you to practice reading the vocabulary and the definitions out loud, okay, in voz alta. That is important, okay? So don't be afraid, don't feel shy, don't feel nervous. You are learning and remember that learners make mistakes. The only people that never make mistakes are the people who never do anything, <laughs> okay? Uh, like the ninis, right? That we say, no studying, no working, not doing anything. So those are the people that don't make mistakes because they don't try anything. Okay, so please remember that making mistakes is part of the process. If you ask me, I remember many mistakes that I made and I learned from that. So it's something good. So I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms. We are going to have eight, yeah, eight rooms. What was that? Okay, so Floor and Jackie, you're going to be together. Jennifer and Janati, uh, Harbin and Miguel, Blanca and Glenda, Francisco and Juan Jose. Diana, you're going to be practicing with, uh, let me check. We need someone to practice with. You're going to be practicing with Mariela. Then number seven is Karen Great. with Maritza. And Rolando, you need a partner, Rolando. So I'm going to send you Jackie. 
Okay. So ready, set, and yes. you have just four minutes to make the decisions, to do the matching and to practice, okay? If I see that everybody's practicing, I will give you an extra minute. So ready, set, and go. Okay, Blanca and Laura, excellent. Maritza. Are you there? Did you get the invitation? Excellent. Art teacher. Okay, perfect. I think that Janari is having some connection problems. That's the reason why she, she disconnected. So, um, I already have the match. Okay, let me, let me know about that. Okay, I will share it. Read it aloud, please, one by one. Okay. okay. First one, bold. A desired result or possible outcome? Outcome. 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 Okay, so. The second one, feedback. Help, helpful information or criticisms about the performance of a person. Correct, good. Third, budget, an estimation of income and expenses. An estimation of income and expenses, yes. And? Knowledge gap. What's that? An, irre an irregular balance of what a person should know. That would be the keyword, right? Irregular balance. Yeah. And uh, number five. Coaching. The process of improving the performance of an employee. And six, qualification. A quality that makes someone sweet, uh, suitable for a particular job. Okay, the pronunciation in this case is suitable. Suita hmm? Suitable. Suitable. Suitable for a particular suitable. Mm -hmm. job. Suitable for a particular job. Okay. Do you know the meaning of the word suitable? No. No, I don't know. Based on the context, what do you think is the meaning? Ah, uh, like um, capable, capable. Capable. Or do some. For do something, yes. Capable for doing something or capable of doing something, right? Um, yeah. yeah, it is related, it is directly related. The specific meaning for, uh, for that word suitable is, or synonym is uh, appropriate, appropriate. Okay. Yeah, okay. suitable. So for example, I can tell you, Jennifer, I think that you are, the suitable person for that position. Why? Because they need someone who knows about accountancy and someone who knows about English and you have both. And a lot of accountants don't have the English elements. So you are the suitable for that position. Person. Ah, the suitable okay. person, exactly. 
And, and the pronunciation from criticism. Can you please help me, teacher? Yeah, the correct pronunciation in this case is criticism. Criticism. Come. <laughs> no. Okay. It's cri. Pretty. Criticism. 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 Yeah. Criticism. You say it more naturally, more like fluently, right? Um, criticism. Criticism. Uh -huh, exactly. It's so difficult. It is because we're not accustomed to making that sound, that combination in, in Spanish. That's the reason why. Criticism. Criticism. Desire. Desire is okay. Desire, yes. Desire of possible or possible outcome. Mm -hmm. Outcome. 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 Out. 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 Yeah. Outcome. And when you say get out mm -hmm. or outside. Outcome. I will practice, teacher. If you want to to review the other break, I'm going to check if they already finished. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I think something yeah, already. Yeah, I will. Is hello? Did you finish? Suitable. Yes, uh, teacher. The pronunciation is suitable. 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 You don't pronounce the letter I. Yeah. Mm. I was looking at you, yeah. Suitable. 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 Suitable is appropriate. Suitable. Suitable. How about the, the, the other one, teacher? Which one? Uh, crit criticism. 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 <laughs> like terrorism. The, the word doesn't go with me. <laughs> Crit yeah. Criticisms. Criticisms. Criticism. 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 No. No. Season. That doesn't go with me. Criticism. 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 That's correct. You got Criticism. it. Finish. Okay. Did you finish, guys? Okay, uh, in this moment, oh. uh, we practice the vocabulary. Oh, okay, the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, one more minute. Okay, for example, okay. go with a desired result or possible outcome. It may sense. Outcome. That yeah. I think that outcome. that could, outcome. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. We, uh, how is the pronunciation of suitable? Suitable. Yeah, the pronunciation is suitable. Suitable. <laughs> Y nosotros decíamos sweet table. Sweet table. <laughs> sure, una, mesa, una mesa dulce. Sweet table. Yeah, sweet table. Okay. I think that word doesn't exist in English. Maybe you can, you can create it. Uh -huh. A sweet table. Uh -huh. Sura. Sura. So you don't, you don't pronounce the letter I. Uh -huh. Suitable. And Surable. the other one is criticism. criticism. Ah, yeah, yeah. Criticism. 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 Okay. The stress is in the first syllable. Yeah, criticism. 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 For this, uh, for this uh, a single. But yes, and then uh, I think that the number five and number six, they are not correctly. Um... French system. Francis. Hello. Hello, teacher. You finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, so it's time to go back. <laughs> See you in a moment. Okay. Okay, um, suitable, that is a word of the night. <laughs> suitable. suitable, yeah, suitable, you don't pronounce the letter I, you only say su, 
ra, right? The, with the sound, with the R in English, sura, suitable, uh, suitable. And uh, the other word that was a little bit complicated for some people was criticism. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. So there, there are words that have sounds that we don't normally pronounce in Spanish, like this. Uh, but Yes, they are very common in English, in business or in conversations, right? Suitable, especially for a position, right? You are the suitable person for that job. Um, or this is the suitable place for the business, right? The most suitable, the most appropriate, that would be a synonym, appropriate. Okay, so let's go on. And I'm going to share the screen so that we can practice. One volunteer to read the definition for number one, please. One volunteer, raise your hand or use a reaction. Me, teacher. Okay, uh, who's who was that? Who's me, teacher? Yes, I am your teacher. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think it was Diana who raised her hand first, and then we have Karen, Jennifer. Okay, so Karen number two, Jennifer number three, Laura number four. Okay, excellent. We have four volunteers, Blanca number five, and Flor number six. Girls okay. power, or right, you are like, like that. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Goal, a desired result or possible outcome. Uh, desired. Desired result or possible oh. outcome. Or possible outcome. 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 Out. Outcome. Uh -huh. outcome. That's correct. Outcome is. Desire. Yeah, desired result or possible outcome. Outcome is similar to result. Okay. So, excellent, thank you so much. I'm going to use a reaction and I will choose thumbs up. So, number two. Back. Mm -hmm. Helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? I have another. Feedback. With feedback. What do you have? The process of improving the performance of an employee. Mm, okay. I have exactly. the same as Karen. The correct answer in this case is uh, help for information or criticism about the performance. When you, when you, when you see the word uh, criticism and feedback, is that? Because criticism that has two sides, right? We have the constructive and destructive feedback. So our criticism, right? Criticism in this case. Uh, so criticism is not bad, it's not negative. The problem is that in Spanish, we understand it as something negative, right? Critica, we think about something bad. It's about cri criticar, we think that is something bad, but the reality is that criticism or criticize is to evaluate, okay? To evaluate something. So that's correct. Number three, I'm going to use reactions. I'll choose the claps. Uh -huh. Thank you, Karen. Number three, that was Jennifer. Love it. An estimation of income and expense. That's right, income or outcome, right? So that, but outcome uh, is similar to the result as I was telling you. So in this case, we say income and expenses. Uh, I think that probably if you have a, a budget in Spanish, you can start creating a budget in English. That would be a good practice, right? To, to use your vocabulary in, in context. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, Jennifer, we're going to go on with the number four. That was an early knowledge gap. Knowledge uh -huh. gap. Uh -huh. What is knowledge gap? An irregular, 
an irregular balance of what the person should know. Yes, that's the knowledge gap. So it's an irregular uh, balance of what a person should know. I think that after we finish today's class, you are going to go crazy with pictures of animals or your pets, okay? I will share some with you too. <laughs> now we're going to go on with the number five, coaching. Okay. <laughs> Helpful information, no, no, no. The process of improving the performance on a, of an employee. That's right. Okay, the process of improving the performance. That's correct. Yes, coaches now are like uh, psychologists, right? <laughs> uh, like trainers, personal trainers. So let's go on with the exercise, uh, with the number six. That is the last one. Qualifications, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. For a particular, 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 particular <laughs> job. Uh, yeah, particular. That's correct. Particular. So those are the words. It's like pecu peculiar, peculiar. That's another word that has that sound. Okay, excellent. Thank you, everybody. I loved your participations. And now it's time to move on. Okay. So um, we're going to, I am going to give you, yesterday was the opportunity for you to write. And right now you are going to share what you wrote yesterday, okay? In the breakout rooms. So for tomorrow, what you're going to do is to read the description and write down the correct heading encabezado, right? The correct heading in the, for the number one, two, three, four, and five. So yesterday you practiced writing, today you're going to practice reading. So that's homework, read and write down the correct heading, the correct title for every paragraph. Okay, that is your assignment. Right now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and in the breakout rooms, you are going to share what you were writing about surveillance at the workplace. Is something good, something bad? What is your opinion about that? Ready? I'm going to create uh, groups in this, in this case. You're going to be in groups and every group will have approximately three or four people. Okay, one, two, three, four, good. One, two, three, four. Very good. One, two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. So we're ready to go. You will have five minutes, okay, to share what, what you think about surveillance at the workplace. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Perfect, that's a limitation to join the breakout rooms. Our opinion about the employer surveillance at workplace. Who wants to start? I think you could start, Harvin, because uh, in the case of Miguel and Juan Jose, they were not able to be in yesterday's session. So you can uh, share your opinion and later they can express their own. Okay, okay. Okay. For example, in my case, I was writing about employee surveillance. For me, it's a good option. I agree because in this way, there, the company could uh, supervise 
the performance mm -hmm. of every employee. Yeah. For example, in my job, we have a supervisor. A company that were regarding me was like, oh my God, everything I do, they they are going to watch. <laughs> if I stand up and go to the bathroom how many times, they are going to see that. Wow. And maybe they call my attention, I don't know. And but with the time you you like just you just ignore them and just is their routine. You get used to it. Yeah. Get used to it. Mm, yes. Used. Yes, I think that too. For example, now I have the camera just atrás, teacher? Behind. Behind. Behind me. Really? Yes, and it's the more, the, it's normal. For me, it's normal, so. It's the yes. most normal thing in the world. It's the <laughs> most normal thing, yes. <laughs> person in the company uh that i know they was recording me and with my colleagues uh -huh. <laughs> they, they were they were they recording told, you uh -huh. they told the the manager didn't see the cameras and it was for the mundial the world cup the world, the world, the world oh. cup. they watch the world cup in in a TV that was in the room, and the manager was was calling uh, one of my colleagues. or disagree? Well, it depends of the point of view, mm -hmm. I think, because if you are um, an employee, you feel like uh, you are well. Uh, and they are broken your right of privacy. I don't know how do you pronounce privacy right, in private, the perfect form. Private, private, privacy. Privacy. Thank you. Privacy, yeah. Privacy in the workplace. However, your right to pri privacy, it's, um, it's again your employer's right. And because the business are business and they have to protect their companies or any restaurant, stores, I don't know. For me, it depends of the point of view. Yeah. And I don't know, teacher, if there is an a idiom or how can I say, en los, estar en los zapatos de alguien. Yeah, you say that. Put yourself in someone's shoes. Put okay, yourself thanks. in someone's shoes. Mm -hmm. Put yourself in someone's shoes. Exactly. All depends if you are in a shoes of a manager or um owner. You are agree. I will agree. You agree to surveillance. Mm -hmm. To surveillance at work, but if I were an employee. <laughs> you put pause. He <laughs> <laughs> <You> can freeze now. <laughs> well, uh, I think that in surveillance employees are really important for each company. Alrighty. So guys, before it rains more in your in your in your hometowns, I just want to uh, share with you some information about the the email that you received. Uh, there are some, I mean, there are some uh, indication instructions that are very clear. However, if we don't read them clearly, we can get confused. So for that reason, uh, I just want to mention that 
first of all, okay, um, this is something that you will come you will complete with me in the session. Okay, this is the evaluation or the survey about the satisfaction of the curse. Okay, that's what it's, it's called encuesta de satisfacción. So this is not about you, like what you did or you didn't do. It's about the curse. It's about the curse that you have been taken. So you will take, you will do this with me, not because I will give you the answers, but I will guide you question by question so that you can answer in the correct way. Uh, this is something mandatory in all the levels, right? As you already know. In number two, it says uh, they will only accept the, this process with be careful with the information given, right? Uh, so you have to be in agreement with that. When you finish the, the let's say, the, the, the survey, you are going to take a screenshot and share that screenshot, okay, to the, the WhatsApp group, right? So uh, there are some indications in a little video that they share with you. There is a link, you can watch it, take your time. Okay, second. And then, I am going to be guiding you step by step so that you can fill out, fill up the, the survey with the information from the course. Okay, there's specific information there. And um, that's it. Okay, so please keep in mind you're not going to complete anything today. We are going to do it together on Monday. Next Monday is the last day of classes. So we're going to finish with the survey, the satisfaction survey about the course. So uh, I will quickly check that everybody's here so you can say here or present. Uh, Freddy's? Blanca? I'm here. Jackie? Present. Janari? Uh, Ruth? I'm here. Okay, there you are. Uh, next one is Rolando. Hello, hello, hello. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Maritza. Karen. Present, teacher. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, Juan Jose. I am here, teacher. Very good. Jennifer. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, Harvin? I am here, teacher. Laura? I'm here. Francisco? They have pro uh, he has problem with the... With the internet? Yeah. Okay, Floor? I'm here. Diana? I'm here. Mariela? Daniela. I'm here. Okay, there you go. So guys, uh, we just have five more minutes. Uh, do you have any questions about what I, what I was telling you? About the survey, no. About the survey, no questions. Okay. Uh, raise your hand if your opinion about the surveillance at work it was in favor. Raise your hand if you say, yes, I agree, it's something good, it's something necessary. Raise your hand. Okay, so Harvin, Flor, eh, Mariela, Diana, Blanca, Karen, eh, Jackie, Jennifer. So you agree. Okay, so that's more than 50% of the class. Eh, who disagrees with this? Who has a different opinion, an opposing opinion? You say like, no, cameras are not a good idea. Sorry, teacher, I can, I'm not able to, I can hear you. Okay, so what do you, if you think that is uh, surveillance is not good, raise your hand. I'm sorry, Freddie. He says that it's like a hurricane in Acajutla right now. 
Uh, I think it place. depends on the, the place. It depends on the place. Why, uh, Juan Jose? For example, in a bank, it's important to uh, do the surveillance. But uh, or when you are um, uh, in a industrial um, enterprise, maybe two. But uh, when the uh, employees are, for example, in my case, uh, that I have a, a preparing a class uh, administration uh, jobs, I don't, uh, it will be necessary. Okay, okay. Good, you got some good points right there. And yes, I agree with you that in, it depends, right? It's not something that will work the same in all the cases, right? Imagine if you are a psychologist, for example, and you are receiving people, right? And they want therapy mm -hmm. and they need help and they need advice and they have a camera. It's like, mm, do you have a problem? No, no problem. Uh, do you want to say <laughs> something? No, no, it's okay. Goodbye, see you later. <laughs> right, so it's not really the most comfortable thing in, in, in this case. So yeah, I think that it depends. There are some factors that we need to consider. And so the next person that I will ask to stay uh, at the end of the session, if it's possible, is uh, Floor, because Brenda doesn't have good connection right now. And, and, also, uh, I want to remind you that tomorrow is Trivia Thursday. So if you want to get points, start reading about general knowledge, <laughs> okay? About art, Yay. about geography, about science, technology, about sports, about, uh, I don't know, Hollywood, okay? <laughs> you never know like what sport. kind of question you're going I like to sports. You like sports, okay, good. So, that will be all for today, guys. Uh, if you don't have any questions or comments, Floor, raise your hand. <laughs> I have a question. Okay. Uh, Floor, do you have a question first and then Freddy's? No, teacher. <laughs> I forgot to load my hand. Lower your hand. Okay, so can you stay for uh, the extra minutes? Who, me? Yes, you. But I did, uh, but oh, it's twice. It's twice for some people, yes. Ah, okay, yes. Because of the, of the list, it was random, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Freddy, what is the question? Do you take attendance already? I already did. Oh man. Yeah, but I saw that you were having problems to to, to no, listen to me. So that, that's what I just checked that you were there. Okay. okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. That's the reason why it's important to have the camera when you have good connection, right? Because I can see that you're there. It's, and maybe if you don't speak, I see you there. So it's that that is 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 important. Okay, so guys, have a good night. Enjoy, celebrate with your with your pets. Okay, if you want yeah. to share, if you want to share a picture in the group, that's okay. I don't think it's going to be a problem. You can share with us, and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end, and that's good because you achieved something important. It's not easy, five weeks, so. Keep it up, keep it up. Don't don't lose the, the energy for the final days. Okay. okay. Thank you for everything. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye. 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 Michael. Bye, Bye. Michael. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Have a time with your dog. Bye, Diana. Bye. 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 Goodbye, Rolando. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Rolando. Miguel. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So, Ms. Ramirez Calderon.
I, I, well, it was going to be Brenda, but since I think the day before yesterday, she's been having a lot of issues with the internet connection. Well, since yesterday, to be precise. I cannot hear you, Flor. I see that you're inspired expressing your ideas, but. No, I was, I was saying that for now, I think that I don't have questions or maybe a doubt. I think that everything is clear. I think. Yes. yes. And I, I am trying to, to improve the, the stress. You remember that you told me the last time. Uh huh. So I, I, now I have, I have to be more careful. Uh, when I listen a word, if I don't remember, doesn't matter. I have to look again so I can, I can hear the stress or the pronunciation again. Oh, that's really good. So now you pay more attention to that. Yes, detail. yes, that's it. That's it. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, how how much practice uh, do you or opportunity do you have at the work? Well, for for speak is or speaking is really hard because I don't have time to do that. But for writing is difficult too. But reading is almost every time because the system that I use is in English. Ah. So the the for example the airport airport code the the city code the country's code the days uh, everything is in English. Mm -hmm. The restriction of the of the fly or the air tickets mm -hmm. are in English. The baggage are in English. So. Reading, I think that is is a, I, I, I do a lot of time a day. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the speaking and writing may maybe not too much. Yeah, that's that's probably what you're missing, right? To have the exposure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I I think that in this I start with English Corporativo the last month. Oh, so this is my second month, and I feel that the last the last month maybe I learned, or maybe I get um, practice. I don't feel that that I learned something different, but in this in this month I feel that I learned things that I I have no. I have no, or I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm, I didn't know, yes. In the last day, especially in the last day, the topics that, that you are teaching, I think that are interesting because I didn't know about. Mm. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Yes. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, of course, it's a different area because you're not dealing with a restaurant, but of course you're dealing with customers, you're dealing with uh, surveillance. Now that you say that you have a camera behind you, uh, you're dealing with training somehow. I suppose that you need to receive training or, or, or you need to learn new things. So, um, and something that is important, even though it's not related about your, it's not related to your area or to your field, is the capacity to express an opinion. Yes. That is, mm -hmm. that is I think that too. Mm -hmm. It's important because uh, if, if I learn more words, uh, I get fluency. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that and is confidence. important. And confidence, yes. Yes, because I, I start learn English like, I don't know, 10 years ago, and I didn't finish. So I oh. had many, many years to not speak. I feel that I understand many words and maybe I, I can understand a conversation, but the practice, I lost the practice. 
Well, well, I lost the fluency because I, I didn't practice. And for example, now I feel more confidence with that. Wow, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's an important achievement. And I have seen that. I have seen that. Uh, and not only you, there are other, other classmates of yours that have changed uh, the way they participate, the frequency of their participation. Even though they are nervous or they are not very sure about something, they, they do it. And that's, yes. that's something that I, I really appreciate. And, and it's important because in the end, that's the way that you learn a language, being exposed to it, making mistakes, uh, saying nonsense. Yes. <laughs> uh, because it happens. Sometimes you don't know what to say, but you want to participate, right? So, yes. or you have to participate. So uh, you need to say something. Yes, yes, but I, I, I really feel, I, I feel happy. I feel happy. And I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, you for, for, for referirme. Referring you. Refer me. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, it was, I didn't know that today was the dog's day uh, until the afternoon when I checked my social networks. And I was like, wow, these people must be, this couple must be really happy. Uh, that is a yes. first. Uh -huh. Yes, the, the, she sent me a, a voice note uh -huh. today. And, and she told me that they were really, really, really happy with, with the puppy. They changed the name of the puppy, but yeah. I, I, I imagine that. It would be like 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 that. Yeah. But they they are really happy. Yesterday I knew that they bought um, the, el collar. The collar and the, the collar the little and the, flake, right? Like uh -huh, uh, with, uh -huh. the, with the name. And toys and um brush brush tea. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> many things just yes. uh, the, the bed that I I when I send the pictures with uh -huh. the bed yeah. the bed is big because he is little and the bed the bed look nice looks uh -huh. nice yeah uh, they, they are really happy am I happy to for that yeah I I I, I knew I had the feeling that you they they were going to be the ideal owners or Yes. <laughs> yes, because she she told me the baby, the baby, the baby, and that is important because it's a baby for them. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh, yes. I don't know. I don't know mm -hmm. how long they have been married, but I think it's recent. It's recent. I think that too. <laughs> uh -huh. I think that too, but I'm really happy. Yeah. So. Yeah, for me, it was like, okay, that's destiny. Yes. Uh, yes. Now I have uh, a sister of the, of the, of the baby uh -huh. because um, we, I se la dimos. Gave it. Gave it to my husband daughter. But the but she's like a little bad with the no de las notas las clases. Oh, she's doing she's doing bad with the grades. Yes. Uh, so yesterday, no, two days ago, I I have I keep it again, but I don't know if we we are going to keep it or what because. The, the the parents give to she to her uh -huh. 50 15 days mm. Mm -hmm. to get better and and to approve the exams so i don't know what what is going to happen with with that baby 
Okay, that's an issue. It's, it's, it's another mission in case. Uh -huh. In case I know about somebody else. I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody in the group can, can say I want one, yeah. Yes, but uh, we don't know, we don't know yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, Floor, it was a pleasure. Uh, thank you for staying. I am glad to know that you're, you feel that you have learned more, that you have improved, and that you are paying more attention to those aspects that I mentioned the last time. Because that's the way that we improve, right? By pay, by improving some, well, by paying attention to the aspects that we probably lack more practice or we lack more uh, proficiency, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need to instead of instead of uh, ignoring them, we need to pay more attention to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. And thank you, teacher. No, it's my pleasure and I will be here to help in any way possible. Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. Have a good night. Bye. You too. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. God willing. God willing, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Bye, you, teacher. You learned that one. Good. <laughs> there you go.